Yep. Oh. Oh, good fish. Finally. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, now we're in action. G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Now targeting flathead with soft plastics and lures is a fun and popular form of fishing. And as you can see, the range of options available at your tackle store are just about endless. The truth is that flathead are not a fussy fish. They're an ambush predator and they'll strike at just about anything that's cast in the right direction. However, there are a number of soft plastics and lures that consistently outperform others and that's exactly what I want to share with you in this video. Now guys, don't forget to leave in the comments and tell us what you've been fishing with to target flathead and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got a bit to get through, so let's get started. Okay, let's start with an oldie but a goodie. And this is the Berkeley Gulp 4 inch turtleback worm. And I have caught hundreds of flathead on this soft plastic. Now they come in a range of different colors. This is my preferred color, which is the camo color. Um, now, a couple of good things about these soft plastics. So firstly, they're 100% biodegradable, which means if they're left in the water, they will just naturally break down over time. Now these soft plastics are infused in Berkeley's fish attracting scent. And they make some pretty bold claims, right? So here they've got that they catch 30% more fish because they release 400 times more scent than any other soft plastic on the market. But I will attest that they do catch a lot of flathead. Um, you can rig these and fish these in many different ways. Um, I've caught lots of flathead just by casting out and slow rolling them, hopping them off the bottom. I've even caught them just having the rod over the side and just naturally drifting. So they do work really, really well. Um, they're also really good to target a heap of other fish species, whether it's pinky snapper, brim, even whiting. So they're pretty versatile, and these cost about 10 bucks a packet. A pretty good option. Now, a good alternative is the Munro's 4-inch zip tail worm. Now, I've caught heaps of flathead with these soft plastics. There's a couple of good things that's about them. So they're made in Australia, manufactured locally within Melbourne, and they cost about $5.50 per packet of 10, which is really, really affordable. Buy them online, they ship within a few days. Now, similar to the turtleback worm, these are a worm imitation. Um, they do have a bit more action on them because they've got this tail part, um, which is buoyant, and obviously that's gonna flutter in the water, but also when you're not working it, it actually just naturally lifts up as well, which is a great way to attract fish. Um, it comes in a whole range of different colors. I think there's eight different colors. Um, I really like these two, which is motor oil and sandworm. Now these don't have any scent in them, but you can easily apply some yourself, just rubbing a little bit into the end of those tails, some S-Factor or some Procure, um, and a really, really good option. Okay, let's move on to something a little bit different, and these are the Savage Gear TPE 3D Shrimps. These work really, really well, and that's because Flathead love to eat shrimp and prawns, and these are made out of 3D printing technology, which makes them look really, really lifelike. Now they come in three different sizes. You've got the 2.5 inch, the 3.5 inch, and the five inch. Um, locally where I fish, a lot of the times I'll use the 3.5 inch size. Um, so these are pre-rigged with a offset hook. And that hook is quite large. Um, and what you find is you tend to catch more of the bigger size flathead rather than the smaller ones. Um, they come in a few different colors. I really like the natural looking colors and I like some of the really bright looking colors. So it depends on the water clarity on the day. I'll sort of just chop and change to, to what really works. Um, this, this TPE material is like a jelly-like substance. It makes the lure move really well in the water. So there are cuts in these tail, which basically allows the tail to flutter up and down naturally in the water. And then you've obviously got these antennas and these little legs, and same thing, they're constantly moving in the water. I know one of the concerns I have when you buy lures or soft plastics like this is how durable are they, especially when you consider how cheap soft plastics are to buy. Um, now my last fishing session, I used exactly this colored lure here um, and I caught eight flathead and a number of them were between that 50 and 60 centimeter size um, and there was really no wear and tear at all in it. So once I caught one, put that flathead to the side, basically keep fishing with it, which is really, really good. So. 
These are pretty cool. If you haven't tried something like these, it'd be something to uh, definitely go out there and give a go. One of my absolute favorite soft plastics is the Z-Man Curly Tails. Um, so they come in three inch, four inch, and five inch size, but I really like the four inch size. Um, I think these come in about 16 different colors. I've taken a real liking to these one with some nuked chicken, and you've also got these ones in yellow, which are space guppy. So I find the bright colors work really, really well with these. Um, obviously what makes these soft plastics work so well is that big curl tail. It's just, the action on it is fantastic. It just naturally flutters really, really well in the water. Um, so you can fish these just by slow rolling and that tail's gonna be bouncing around or you can hop them off the bottom. These tails as well are also buoyant. So again, if you're not working them, that tail's gonna sit upright and it's just gonna be moving in the water and that's certainly going to attract flathead. Um, so obviously Z-Man are a great soft plastic brand. Um, really, really durable. So their claim to the market obviously is that their soft plastics are 10 times stronger than any other soft plastic on the market. Um, and that's probably true, right? Because I know I go out all the time, you end up using only one or two soft plastics in your fishing session. You may catch five, 10, whatever it might be fish. Um, and the plastic really doesn't get chewed up all that much, especially if you're targeting flathead. So um, these are fantastic, not only for flathead, obviously snapper, love these, particularly in, in these size. So these don't have any scent on them. So obviously you'll need to apply that yourself. So some S-Factor, some Procure, rub a little bit into the tail sparingly. But these are a really, really good option. If you haven't used them, definitely give them a go. Now guys, a really good alternative to the Seaman Curly Tails is the Savage Gear Fat Curl Tails. Now you would have seen me feature this soft plastic in so many of my videos over the last 12 months, whether that was targeting Flathead, Mulloway, Snapper, um, snook, you know, these are really versatile. They catch just about everything. So they come in a range of different colors and a range of different sizes. Um, you've got 6.5 centimeter, 8.4 centimeter, and then they get a little bit bigger. Um, I like to use the 8.4 centimeter size. So you often see them at BCF, four packets for 20 bucks, and you get six in a packet. So when you do the maths, these are actually really, really affordable. And as I said, have a look again at a lot of the videos that I've done. These are very versatile and they catch a lot, a lot of different fish species. And Flathead certainly love them. Um, and if you want to try something different opposed to the Z-Mans and other things, then these are certainly a good option to give a go. One of the lures that I've been using a lot lately to great success is the Zeric Fish Trap created by Wilson. Um, so these come in five different sizes. So this is the 65 millimeter one, there's a 95 millimeter one, and then they go up into bigger sizes. And the smaller sizes, the 6.5 and the 9.5, are ideal for targeting flathead. Um, they also come in 23 colors, um, but I really like these really bright standing out colors. Um, so why this works really well, it's created out of that TPE material, which again is like that jelly-like substance, which gives it a realistic look. And it's got this tiny little fluttery tail, which even when you're not working it, will actually sit there and move around in the water. So you've got a couple of different ways that fish will go for this. Um, now I tend to just teabag this and what that means is I just cast it out and do a, a, like a, a sharp lift like I'm fishing a blade and it will just vibrate in the water and then you'll let it drop back down, sit there for five or six seconds, lift it up again until you get that all the way back to the boat. Um, but yeah, I've really liked these lately. These work really, really well. Maybe something you want to give a go yourself. Now another soft plastic that I've been doing really well with lately is from the Squidgies Pro range and this is the Prawn Wriggler. Now I used to really, really like the old Squidgy Wriggler, the 95 mil one. Um, it was that black and gold color and the Gary Glitter color. They're not so easy to find these days. So these are a little bit of a hybrid between obviously a prawn imitation and a curly tail. Now this is in that black gold color, which I think is the standout color across the Squidgies range. Um, they come with their own little bottle of scent so again, when you're using these, all you do is put them on your jig head, sparingly rub some of that scent into the tail. Um, and these have worked really, really well recently. They're pretty durable. I find I only go through one or two of these through most sessions. Um, Flathead really, really like them. And again, I think they're probably the best alternative um, if you can't get the squidgy wriggler in the 95 mil. Um, but I like these, these look and work really, really well. Now guys, another really good option is the Berkeley Gulp 3 inch jigging shrimp. And I really like these in the bright colors. Now these soft plastics to me look like a hybrid of a number of different ideas they had. 
It looks a bit like an, uh, a hybrid of a prawn, it looks like a hybrid of a worm, and it looks like a hybrid of one of their curl tails that they've basically all put into one soft plastic. Um, but they do work really, really well. Um, you catch lots of other species of fish as well. Pinky snapper, love these as well. With the turtleback worms, you gotta be real careful with these. Once you finish using them, put them back in the packets. They will dry out really quickly. And as you can see, packets like this, which I've just bought, there's not a lot of liquid left in there. So I've gotta be really careful just to make sure that I seal this properly, otherwise they will dry out. But these are uh, another really good option on flathead. And of course, you can't have a soft plastics or lure video without mentioning Z-Man grubs, which are arguably the most popular soft plastic of all time. Now these things really came out to success in the brim market, where the two inch and the 2.5 inch were absolutely dynamite on brim. Um, however, since then, they've, they've come a long way. There's a lot of colors in the range, and now they've got the two inch, the 2.5 inch, the 3.5 inch, and the nine inch. I really like the 3.5 inch size for targeting flathead. Um, and I'll generally take out a couple of natural looking colors. So this is watermelon red. This is usually my go-to color. And then I also like doing a couple of really bright colors, whether that's a bright pink or a white, um, but don't need to say much about these soft plastics. They just work really well. It's that tail action that all fish species like, whether it's snapper, mulloway, flathead, broom, just about everything likes eating these things. Um, like I do with a lot of the other soft plastics, I'll rub a little bit of scent into that tail, and then you can work them in a number of different ways. You can slow roll them, you can hop them off the bottom, you can work them very, very slowly. Um, maybe if you're living under a rock and you've never used these, um, go out and give them a turn, but they're, uh, these are certainly a really, really standout soft plastic and for good reason. Okay, so let's move on to some hard body lures, and without doubt, the big heavy hitter in this space is the Daiwa Double Clutch. So. These come in three different sizes. You've got the six centimeter, the 7.5 centimeter, and the nine centimeter. And the maximum depth that these will dive down to is about two meters. So the key with fishing with any hard body lures, and obviously these, is really understanding the depth that you're fishing. So if you were to take a lure like this, this is the 7.5 centimeter in the AU color. If you were to take this one, it's probably gonna dive down to about 1.8 meters. Now, if you were to fish this in 10 meters deep, you're probably not gonna catch anything. So it's getting that depth right that's absolutely essential when fishing these. So I find these work exceptionally well um, when you're fishing at around three meters deep um, and you could be trolling these uh, on the back of your tinny or back of your boat or back of your kayak, um, or you could just be casting them out, slow rolling them, adding some lifts, adding some pauses, and just working out what technique is working with you on the day. So these come in a range of different colors. Um, they're a really quality made lure. Um, one of the big question marks with these lure in the past have been that the trebles didn't last so long. And what you'll find with the 2020 range of double clutches, they've replaced the trebles with ST owner hooks, which should make people um, pretty happy about that. So having a better quality hook to match the lure. Um, so these retail at about $25 each. So that's probably gonna be the only question mark for a lot of people is whether they can justify that price point to buy a single lure when you can go out and spend 10 bucks on a packet of soft plastics and you know you might get five or 10 in them. Now guys, a really good alternative to the Dollar Double Clutch is the Savage Gear 3D Shrimp. Um, so these are XD, which means they're extra deep diving. So these get down to about three meters deep, so a little bit deeper. Um, they come in a range of colors um, one of the big benefits with these is they're about half the cost of a Daiwa Double Clutch. So I've been using these quite a bit. I troll these a lot in the back of my kayak, fishing sort of that three to four meter depth. Um, and I've been catching a lot of flathead for doing that. So these look really good. Obviously that, that bib is a little bit bigger. So that's the reason why it can down a little bit. And again, if you can understand the depths that you're fishing, these can be used to really good effect. Um, and these are a terrific alternative to some of the more expensive products out there on the market. So that probably covers my favorite lures and soft plastics to target flathead. Now you can use other things as well. You can use blades and vibes and bright colors. So they work really, really well. Just lifting them up and then letting them sit on the bottom. You've got, which has been out lately a bit, is little squid imitations like that. They also work really, really well, teabagging them off and down on the bottom. I've caught lots of flathead with them lately. Um, you've got jerk shads, 
any brand, any color. They can be bright colors, natural looking colors. Um, four inch ones in, in motor oil color I've been using a lot lately to great success. Um, paddle tails, these have been around forever and ever. Um, been using the Z-Man four inch diesel minnows lately. They've been working really, really well. But of course, you know, they come in different brands and sizes um, and they work really well. And you don't need to do anything fancy. You just cast them out, slow roll them, let the tail do all the action with that fluttering action. Um, and you've got things like yabby imitations such as these. So these also work really well. But the point is, I guess, there's a lot of things that work remarkably well for flathead. Don't be afraid to get out there and give it an experiment. And I hope, particularly those first set of soft plastics and lures that I ran through with you, they're the ones that I've had the most success with. I go out fishing with a lot of other local anglers um, who now use a lot of these things because their catch rates have really improved. And if they're using hard body lures, they've really taken the time to work out how to fish them and at what depths, what size jig heads you're using soft plastics. But again, it's such a great form of fishing. And I think that's one of the best things is to go out there, try new gear and experiment. That's all part of the fun. And I really hope there's been some insight in this video that will help you to get out there and catch a few more flat air. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a heap of fishing adventures all around Victoria and Melbourne. And we do a heap of how-to fishing videos and rigging videos. And for now, guys, good luck. Good fishing out there, and I hope to see you out there soon.